after my talk on e-learning and MOOCs in higher education, I now will request Dr. Vimal Rar to give her talk on various activities of the Guru Angad Dev Teaching Learning Center, which is a very important center of the MHRD Government of India at SGTB Khalsa College. She will not only speak about the activities of this, but she will also tell that in this technology driven higher education scenario, what is going to be the new roles of the teachers, how the teachers have to play a very important and pivotal role in the execution of MOOCs in the country. Here a few words about Dr. Vimal Rod. She is presently a senior faculty member at SGTB Khalsa College, University of Delhi. Besides that, she is the leading e-learning expert of India, who has a profound knowledge of not only her subject, but also of the various technicalities involved in the development of e-content. She has been the recipient of numerous awards and had won both national and international recognitions for her contributions in the field of e-learning. I am very sure that you will enjoy her talk and that will give you an overview as to what all is in store for you in the technology driven higher education scenario. Thank you very much. Hello everyone. I am Dr. Vimal Rar and I am the project head for this project which is Teaching Learning Center under Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya, National Mission on Teachers and Teaching. This Guru Angad Dev Teaching Learning Center has been established at Sri Guru Tegh Bahadur Khalsa College, University of Delhi for empowering the teachers of chemistry, commerce and economics for UG as well as PG level and here we empower the teachers on the basis of empowering their skills which are ICT skills, domain skills and pedagogical skills. This center was inaugurated on 1st July 2016 by our Honorable HRD Minister Srimati Smriti Jubin Irani ji. Guru Angad Dev Teaching Learning Center has an advisory committee of eminent academicians headed by Professor A.K. Bakshi as chairman. He is currently Vice Chancellor, PDM University, Bahadurgarh and is the Sir Sankarlal Professor Chair of Chemistry at University of Delhi. Professor A.K. Bakshi is a visionary in the field of e-learning and has a rich experience of more than 15 years in this field. Then we have Professor K.V. Bhanumurthy who is Vice Chairman of this centre and he is retired professor and ex-dean from Department of Commerce, University of Delhi. We also have Professor N. K. Chadda, who is ex-head and professor from Department of Psychology, University of Delhi. We have Professor Aditya Bhattacharji, who is currently head of the Department of Economics and professor there. Then we also have Dr. Jaswinder Singh, who is co-project head with me in this project and he is director of this center as well as principal of SGTB Khalsa College. Then we have Dr. R.P. Singh who is a retired commerce faculty from SGTB Khalsa College and myself Vimal Rar Gil. Now if you look there are so many changes happening in the higher education scenario and especially dealing with the digitization of education. You are already aware that MOOCs which are massive open online courses will be comprising of highly multimedia enriched e-content. Along with that there will be so many activities which will be available to the students through the virtual interface which is the SWAM portal and then there will be various discussion forums, assignments uploaded by the students and then all that grading will be done by the teachers. We actually need now tech savvy teachers 
who can manage these MOOCs more effectively because MOOCs cannot run without teachers. Technology which is SWAM platform is only providing a virtual space but the interaction between the students and teachers they have to be effective and for that we need the teachers who are experts in their respective subject that is the subject in which the MOOCs is being offered as well as they should be tech savvy who can effectively manage these students through the virtual interface or the learning management system. So, with this background and we have our team has already contributed for 3500 modules across these six subjects chemistry, commerce, economics, psychology, forensic science and business economics. And I am happy to share that now onwards the contribution towards the development of e-module as content writer will fetch you 10 API. This is as per the fourth amendment of the UGC notification. Furthermore, we have contributed for 42 MOOCs on SWAM platform and as per the 19 July gadget notification, up to 20 percent credit transfer can happen through MOOCs for any student studying in the conventional universities or open and distance education system. And these are the various MOOCs that we have contributed in these six subjects. Talking about formal education system, formal education system consists of three important components. One is the syllabi, next one is the teaching and learning and then we have assessment. Dear teachers, I think you will agree that syllabi formation, very few of us have the role to form the syllabi. So, whatever comes from our higher authorities, uh, universities system, we have to adapt to that. But then talking about teaching and learning, teaching and learning is something where the role of teacher is very, very important and so is in the assessment also. But when we move from the conventional education system to the e-learning or the blended learning, then the roles of the teacher are going to change. We have to know what is the pedagogy for the virtual learner, how we can make the teaching and learning more effective for our virtual learners as well as how the ICT tools can help us in our conventional classroom teaching and how we can have more meaningful offline and online assessments. So, in order to have it more effective way, we have to become tech savvy and smart teachers. And in order to do that, we have to learn various tools like e-content development and its multilingual conversion, how to manage the student teacher virtual groups, how the online assignment and grading can be done, how the various discussion forums and wiki etc. can be formed for our virtual as well as the conventional students. So, the new age teachers or the tech savvy teachers, we have to upgrade our skills and that our teaching learning center is offering to help you learn all these skills in stepwise manner. And what are these skills? These skills are basic ICT skills, the e-content development, the storyboard for animations, audio video recording tools, the screen capture tools, the interactive various tools where you can write it on the board, do the screen capturing, how the adaptive audio video based questions can be made, how the question bank can be generated with different level of difficulties or different types of questions, how the online course designing or MOOCs designing you can do, how the learning management system has to be managed, how a teacher and student group can be more effective how you can have the analytical tools, you can analyze your group of 500 or 1000 students in just a click of a button and you can get the feedback that which student is really learning at what pace and so on. And if I give you an example, suppose there is a class of 50 students you are handling and if you give them one quiz and in one particular question, 
none of the student is able to answer it correctly. Obviously, it is a feedback to us that either the question has not been framed correctly or we the, our students have not understood that particular concept. So, this is the power of these ICT tools that if in the current system we are not able to get that individualized feedback, we will be able to provide individual feedback to every student because every student is having a learner capacity at different different levels. What we can say is there are below average learners, there are average learners and there are above average learners. So, as a teacher it is our responsibility that we should be able to cater to the needs of all these students and in the conventional classroom situation when you are not using any ICT tools then many a times it is not possible that we can do this individualized interaction and assessments for our students and give them timely feedback so that they can improve on that and do better in the final examination. Other tools that the tech savvy teachers or the new age teachers they can learn are the instructional designing, how the templates for entire e-content production or the storyboard have to be created, what are the open and educational resources which are available. We also have to learn about anti plagiarism tools and how we have to be aware about the various copyright issues so that even unintentionally we are not doing any mistake. Then how the various assignments which have been uploaded on the virtual format, how that analysis, the grading and all has to be done. We also have to be very, very sensitive about the gender and social issues in Indian context. So, when we are writing any case studies or otherwise content, then we should be very cautious about these things because now they will be digitally available always. And every subject has different, different needs. So, a chemistry teacher has a different need, he or she needs to know how the structures have to be made, how their visualization, how their spectra can be generated and how they can be utilized in their classroom or practical situation. But for a commerce or a economics or a Hindi teacher, the needs are different. So, that is why this particular project we are focusing on the needs of chemistry, commerce and economics teachers. So, the basic ICT skills workshop which you are attending will be focusing on generic thing, but then we have subject specific softwares and then we have advanced level workshop which we keep on conducting at Guru Angad Dev Teaching Learning Center at Khalsa College Delhi, where you can come and join and take these advanced courses and become a tech savvy teacher. You can look at this new age assessment, some example you can create this sample interactive crossword and here you can see that this crossword can be utilized for the self learning by any particular student. So, you as teacher do not have to be sitting along with the your student, but for entire chapter you can create this type of crossword or similar MCQs and then that can be given to your students where they can do the self learning and there is an individualized feedback along with every option in the MCQ that why this particular option is correct or incorrect. So, in a way now your teaching learning can be expanded without utilizing your more time. So, it is once effort that you create these type of interactive quizzes and that can be modified enhanced every year. So, you can keep on giving these type of interactive exercises to your students. So, with this background definitely we have to become more smart teachers because with so many ICT tools which are now available around us, we have to think that how we can reduce our workload in the way that we can enhance the quality of teaching and learning. And how do we do this? You can look for what all open and educational resources which are very much useful to your students, you can compile them and give it to them and you can have healthy discussions with them. 
Now focusing on how our methodology of empowering teachers in these three subjects will be focusing and how as teachers of chemistry, commerce and economics you can benefit from this. Our one of the main activities is to conduct hands on workshop or training programs and the next one is we will be taking the help of all the teachers who are getting involved with us in getting trained then they will be given some teachers material to be prepared which can be utilized by themselves as well as it can be shared by all other teachers. Then all this open educational resource so developed will be uploaded on the MHRD portal. We are also planning that we will be having some mobile apps or database subject specific database websites where you can utilize all this data in your classroom or otherwise interaction and you can enhance your quality of teaching and learning. Talking about the faculty empowerment workshops, this logo has been designed as we are developing future teachers, the smart teachers, the tech savvy teachers who know how the audio video recording has to be done, how the audio video editing can be done, how they can use the various smart boards and the interactive tools and how they can develop the e-content, manage the virtual spaces and so on. In the faculty empowerment workshops, we have envisioned various level workshops to begin with. So first is the workshop on basic ICT skills for educators where the focus is on the static content development giving you awareness about what is e-learning, what are MOOCs and then how you can all be part of this, how you can benefit, how your students can benefit. And then in this we also have the various interactive assessment tools. We have how the copyright issues, plagiarism, checkers can be used and so on. The next level workshops are the subject specific workshop. So there are some chemistry workshops dealing only with the chemistry ICT tools as well as the domain knowledge, the new knowledge which is coming in these. Similarly, commerce and economics, wherever they are common, they are clubbed or otherwise we have separate commerce and economics workshops also happening from time to time. Another thing I will like to mention here is these workshops are either one day or two day workshops which are conducted regularly throughout the series because you are now also a learner and every teacher has already attained some level of these proficiencies but they are all different from each other. So if you feel that yes you need more time to go to the advance you have flexibility and if you feel that yes you can immediately join then also you can join. The next advanced level workshop that we have are workshop on advanced ICT skills for educators part 1 where we will be dealing with storyboard instruction designing for e-content development, interactive tools for classroom teaching. In the next level we have multimedia and this e-content development, audio video recording and editing tools. And then you can create your own MOOCs and that is the another level of workshop where your own online courses, virtual courses, you can put your students in these virtual groups and you can manage them whenever you get time you can utilize this facility. So in a way you can shift from purely conventional to a hybrid mode where you are using some conventional technique and then you are shifting to some ICT tools. Before I move here, I will say ICT is only empowering you. It is not that the learning was not happening when the Guru and Shishya were sitting beneath a tree. Maybe at that time they were not even any writing thing. Then also the learning happened, but then the talk and chalk board came, we shifted from that tour and now is the time where we have to shift from the talk and chalk because for that we have to have physically present with our student. But when we have to 
talk and we have to disseminate our knowledge to the unknown learners where we can touch more and more lives then I think we have to move to these digital tools and it can also help you save your time which you have been spending in more without using these ICT tools. So, I request you to adapt to these tools because they are definitely going to help you, they are definitely going to make you more efficient as teachers. Then we will also be focusing on the teaching and learning material and this will be a parallel activity. Once you are trained in the basic level, you will be given some templates and then based on that you can submit this content which will be reviewed and then it will be published in your name and due recognition will be given to you. And these are we are calling as teachers e kit. So, there will be teachers material, there will be students material and we are evolving this concept and the teachers e kit if we talk about teachers e kit is the teaching material required by a teacher to teach a topic in a conventional one hour class room situation. And what will it comprise of? It is all those things which are required which will make a new teacher transact or deliver that particular topic in a more efficient manner. And here I will request the senior teachers and the junior teachers to form a group because what experience senior teachers have we have to really look forward to your help so that all this information which you have gained over the years can be now trapped and it can be shared by all other teachers across the nation. So, we are proposing that the teachers e kit will be having these four components. One is the teachers manual, next is the teachers presentation, next is the teachers assignment and then we have teachers know more. Let us know what is a teachers manual. Actually teachers manual will be explaining how to teach that particular topic with emphasis on how to introduce the topic, how to make it interesting, what type of questions in what particular sequence have to be discussed, what are the various concept maps which can be used. So, all that will be contributing in the teachers manual. Then comes the teachers presentation. This presentation is actually the PPT which can be used in the classroom situation for teaching that particular topic by you as well as any other teacher. And this has to be perfectly in sync with the teacher's manual. So, both go hand in hand and that will be making the teaching of that particular topic more effective. Next is the teacher's assignments. In the teacher's assignment, this will consist of the various questions with proper tagging, level of difficulty, the type of question, whether it is memory based, conceptual, application and once we have a database of this collected, any teacher can make the assignment for different different students in no time. Then we have teachers no more. This section will include the various value additions like common misconceptions, did you know the crosswords, maybe some thing more important which is although out of the syllabi, but something you will always like to share with your students to infuse creativity and excitement towards the learning of your students. So, this is how the teachers e kit will be there and we are visualizing that yes there will be a portal where the various topic, subtopics and for every topic there will be this teachers e kit available and not only these four components, they can be some other components like the crossword you have created or you can put another small videos or maybe some automated excel computation which is put up. So, the teachers e kit will be then available with your name only after it has been reviewed and found satisfactory and then 
this can be downloaded by any other teacher across nation so that the rich knowledge which you have in some particular areas that can be shared with others and the rich knowledge others have that you can benefit from so in a way teachers e kit will be specially focusing on how these particular topics can be taught in different different very best manner so that the learning becomes very efficient by the students so all these open education resource we have the mandate of uploading the open education resource prepared in chemistry commerce and economics through our center to mhrd and you will be duly recognized as the contributor and this as per the fourth amendment of the notification gadget notification which is there on ugc website the teachers e kit has been equated by our team to the development of learning process and this will give you 10 api we are also focusing on preparation of database websites various softwares mobile apps and whatever we are already ready with some and some more we are preparing and as soon as they have been tested we will be sharing it with you dear teachers all of you who are participating in this workshop we will be taking your phone numbers and email ids and we will be adding you in our database and whatsapp group and whatever advanced level workshops we are conducting whatever mobile apps and softwares and etc we will be creating or any free software or is available or some limited part free is available will be sharing with you with a focus on which particular software or which ict tool is beneficial to you as teachers in your teaching and learning process and how you can utilize this to minimize your otherwise more strenuous work and you can become more efficient and smart teacher so definitely the way we have evolved the concept of empowering teachers our team is very confident that this will be very very beneficial to the education system and we request all of you to be actively participate and we also look forward that those who are already aware of these tools please help us as resource persons we will be calling you in our master trainer batch and some of you who are keen can give us feedback we will be taking your help in conducting further batches at your own place and this will be having a cascading effect and definitely all the benefit will be there for the teachers and will be able to create atmosphere and i am very sure that will be able to create a culture we are capturing the knowledge from our senior teachers and passing it to our younger teachers so that the knowledge is imparted in even a better manner and with this i will like to thank mhrd for all the support given to the teaching learning center at sctb khalsa college and from my entire advisory committee i request you to actively participate in whatever programs and activities we have and we will keep informing you directly through the whatsapp groups and other groups will be taking you through the virtual space thank you all the best